Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time once again for Cooking with Nick X, the greatest show on all of the internet. So we have a delicacy today, one of my favourites. I'm going to start with some bread. Warburton's. It's got to be thin, it's got to be a thin slice though, this one. So we're going to get four slices of Warburton's bread. Step number two, buttering the bread. So I've got myself some uh, some some clover, simply made with buttermilk. I think that's just normal butter. I can not tell you. So, uh, as you all know, we we like to get a lot of butter. Yeah. And I'm also a pro at doing this with one hand now. Come on, come on. There we go. Right. Okay. I think I got some. It's not exactly as much as I wanted, but. It'll do. Right, so we're going to keep buttering the bread. But hang on. Right, there we go. And that's one butter done. And the next one, buttering number two. I think we're going to be using the last of the butter here in this tip. Right, there we go. Buttering number two. I've learned from last time that um, I need to stop being like a scrub and actually turn my camera on its side it's a little bit more difficult but it's all good right so there's there's the bread buttered so next step we're going to take a pot noodle original curry flavor we're going to open said pot noodle again with one hand if I can get it open. Come on. Oh, shit in hell. Right, all right. No, we're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Not all is lost. So this is actually really difficult with, with one hand. All right, okay. We're getting there. Oh, shit. I almost lost more. Right, hang on. We're going to have to rescue some of this pot noodle. So I'm going to just prop you there a second. Right. Get the sauce out. We're gonna, yeah, there we go. Right, that'll do. Next step, we're gonna do the fork. And fork. And then we're gonna sort of put little holes down the edge of the pot noodle. Like that. There's one. Again, very difficult with one hand. Boiling water. We all know how to make a pot noodle. It's not exactly difficult. But the trick is with pot noodle, right, is, is that you don't want to get it too watery. So you fill it up a little bit, like so. You make sure, let's see, it's going to need a little bit more water. Right, that'll do. Now what we need to do is, we need to wait so i'll be back in a minute all right and we're back and as you can see we've got the pot noodle to a nice consistency it's like just wet enough but not like absolutely drowning so the next step obviously making a pot noodle is adding the sauce i mean this is standard it's standard pot noodle making and I, I have to open this a second, again, with one hand, which is really not easy. Okay, so we, we, we've, we've opened it. I'm going to squeeze it in there, like, like so. Like, curry sauce. There we go. Getting it all in there. Right. So, you'll be thinking, though, like, it, this is, you're just making a pot noodle, in fact. But I'm not. I'm not. This is a special pot noodle. So we're just going to mix that bit of sauce in like, like so. Right, next step. There's three steps now, which are very important. We're going to take, first of all, some Hellman's mayonnaise. <clears throat> and the reason we add Hellman's mayonnaise is because it improves the consistency and makes it a little less watery. So, it doesn't go all runny later on. So we can mix that in. 
see that. It's looking pretty good, that. Right. <coughs> next step, we've done the mayonnaise. The next step is black pepper. Because I have black pepper on fucking everything. So, I'm going to do my uh, classic showcasing move, which is propping you up on here against my amazing kettle. And adding the pepper to the pot noodle. Like so. And as you can see, we've now added the pepper. Give that a mix. Looking good. We've got one more ingredient to add. Okay, so we're going to be now adding the smoked paprika to the noodles. Only a little bit, we don't need loads. See, now what this is going to do is, it's going to make it smoky flavoured and a little bit spicier, which is good. Okay, now, in the, uh, now the next, the next step is, uh, is obviously what the bread is for, because this isn't just a pot noodle, it's a pot noodle sandwich. So, we're going to now find a place to, I'm going to have to put these up somewhere. Okay, we're now going to add the pot noodle to the bread. So we've got to get a nice little even share onto the bread. It's okay if a little bit flows over because obviously you're going to be taking a fork with you as well. There's the pot noodle added to the bread. Give it a bit of a spread out. As you can see, it's looking pretty fucking good. And then last but not least, we're going to add the other two slices of bread. Give them a bit of a cut with the wrong type of knife. And there you have, I like to call this Indian Japanese noodle sandwich because obviously it's got noodles so it's Japanese and it's Indian because it's you know curry as well so uh you know looking good thank you again for watching cooking with Nick X I'll see you next time